Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I'm going to be making a basic chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting. Now I did get this recipe from Zabar's. It's a gourmet market out in New York City on the Upper West Side. It's not exclusively their recipe. I know they reposted it from somewhere else. Where? I'm not sure. But it's a very, very good cupcake recipe. The ingredients you'll need are whole wheat pastry flour. Folks, make sure you use whole wheat pastry flour, not whole wheat flour. Some dark brown sugar. You can make this yourself organic because this is organic. I have it on my website, cinnamonsweetshop.com, how you can make it yourself. Cold coffee. If you're not in the coffee, you can use water, vanilla extract. Sour cream. I'm using a reduced fat sour cream. My Earthbound vegan buttery sticks, eggs, Dutch processed cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, and don't forget you're going to need a cupcake lined pan. In a small bowl we're going to whisk together the eggs and the vanilla. Sift the cocoa powder in another small bowl. Combine your salt, baking soda, and your flour together. Just give it a quick stir. In a mixer, cream together your butter or your buttery sticks and your brown sugar. Add in your egg mixture and beat this for about 30 seconds until it's well incorporated. Make sure you beat this well enough that there are no lumps in your sugar. Now we're going to add in the cocoa powder and beat it this on a medium low. We're going to add in one third of the flour and then we're going to mix that real, real well. Half the sour cream goes in. and then blend that real well. One third more of the flour. And then add in the remainder of the sour cream. And of course blend that in as well. Then add in the remainder of the flour. Just blend this until very well combined. While the mixer is on low, I'm going to stream in the cold coffee. Now your cupcake mixture will be mostly mixed at this point, and I'm just gonna quickly finish it up mixing it by hand. So I find that your standard ice cream scoop is about the right amount of batter for each cupcake. So I'm going to use it and just fill up each tin. Bake these for 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven. While I'm waiting for my chocolate cupcakes to completely cool, I'm going to be making a chocolate frosting. So the ingredients you will need for this are Dark baking chocolate. Now this is 60% cocoa, unsweetened chocolate, salt. I'm using some coconut palm sugar. You could also use an organic granulated sugar or you can use any kind of dry sweetener as long as it's a natural sweetener. My Earth Balance vegan buttery sticks. You could use unsalted butter. Some water, a lot of eggs. And you will need a candy thermometer for this as well. In a double boiler over medium to medium low heat, I'm melting together both of the chocolates and the butter. I'm gonna melt this until it's completely smooth. And be sure to keep stirring this so that it doesn't burn. Once this is nice and melted and there's no lumps, I'm gonna set this aside to let it cool just a little bit. In this medium saucepan, we're gonna add the eggs the salt, 
the sugar, and the water. We're going to cook this on a medium high heat until the sugar is completely dissolved and the candy thermometer reaches 160 degrees. Strain through a fine mesh sieve just to get all the cooked egg pieces out. Let your mixture, your egg mixture, cool just a little bit so it's just slightly warm to the touch and then whisk it into the chocolate. Now if you have an immersion blender, you can use that to thicken this up or you can use a high speed blender like I'm going to do. Let this cool down and just pour it into your Vitamix or your blender. I prefer to use Vitamix. Blend this till it's thick and frothy. Pour this into another bowl. You can see how much thicker it, it did get. Now you want to refrigerate this until it's cool and much thicker. You can refrigerate this for up to five days. My icing has thickened enough, so I'm going to decorate my cupcakes using the star tip. These guys are getting ready to go into the refrigerator, chill a little bit more, then they'll be ready to serve. Don't forget this recipe is on my website at cinnamonsweetchef.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for so much more and I'll see you next time.